Mm. In New Zealand, we don't rinse off our dishes usually after washing. We, we actually don't. We just use the soap suds and then put it to dry. So it's we'll a fill up a whole sink of water and just put all the dishes in and wipe it in like that. <laughs> so Nuria's mother, I thought was different because she still does it like in Japan. She rinses the water, washes, and then put the, puts the dishes to dry. I just always thought it was such a waste of water. But <laughs> it's just a different, and then I can see why she does it because it's, in Japan you run the water often, then you rinse, and then you, you wash, and then you rinse, and then you put to dry. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's a little different, a really different way, I think. It's just a little difference. Another thing we do is, now some houses in New Zealand people do wear their shoes inside, but some you don't. But I know in Japan it's a definite no-no, you don't wear your shoes inside. Um, I guess, yeah, you can talk some. Okay. Um, on the train, um, it's, if you're with your friends or with children, is generally the trains are not quiet. So if you catch the train, there might be people playing guitar or talking to each other or playing games, talking loudly from here to there, like, oh, how was your day? Yeah, it was good. And nobody, nobody cares. It's just normal. Yeah. And people don't often have baths. It's, I think I've had two since I've lived in Japan. I always, we always have showers. It's the most common way. Mm. And people will walk and eat and often have a piece of fruit and just bite the apple with the skin on. Don't wash it, just go like this. <laughs> oh, and people are often late. So, mm, most of the time people are late. <laughs> so if you say, oh, I'll meet you there at three, it's usually ten past three. And that's fine. No one gets angry, and it's co it's normal. Yeah. <coughs> is that also common for work too? Like, uh, you have like a leadway for work because in the United States we're mm -hmm. allowed. Well, in New York in particular, mm -hmm. uh, you go to work and you're allowed uh, five minutes to be late because we know there are always some problems you might get into. Mm -hmm. So if you're there, at, you're supposed to be there at eight a.m. and you're there at eight o four. Point fifty nine. It's okay. You're not late. <laughs> you're on time still. I think we don't have that. Yeah, usually for work we're on time, mm. but that's the only time we're on time. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So for work people are on time, but apart from that they're not on time for okay. anything else. Yeah, and and our cars, most cars in Japan and New Zealand are Japanese cars. So we import a lot of Jap used Japanese cars. We don't manufacture cars. Um, so yeah, most all all the cars we've owned are Japanese. Um, uh, what else? Kids don't go to school by themselves. Yeah, and it's not a safe. So a lot of kids don't go to school by themselves. But you do see in Japan, it's so safe that children do walk and catch a train by themselves. You won't see that in New Zealand, except maybe a very small country town, but not often at all. Um, and I think, yeah, people are bigger in New Zealand, like both everywhere, I think. <laughs> and, and, uh, so in Japan, I guess people with Japanese are known you know, to be much smaller than New Zealanders, I think. Because our food, our food yeah. portions are so big. Mm. So maybe one Japanese-sized meal is three New Zealand meals we will have in one meal and sometimes then people will have dessert after that so yeah we didn't realize how much we eat in New Zealand but we went back at Christmas time this year January and we would buy one meal from the cafe and it would feed both of us but when we used to live in New Zealand we'd get one meal each and eat the whole lot so our portion size has changed living in Japan we eat more smaller portion which is yeah, probably more healthier yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, and they they won't when you go to the shop or buy petrol, the people won't count your change out for you. For example, if you spend ten dollars but you give them twenty dollars, they'll just give it to you. Like, thank you. So you have to count it and make sure that they've given you the right change. Yeah. <laughs> Like yeah, times, in Japan times, they count sure. it for you yeah. and then count it for you. Yeah. But in New Zealand they'll put even coins or everything and just put it in your hand 
and <laughs> next. <laughs> so I I forgot. So when we went back at Christmas, I was like, count my money. <laughs> but I went away. It was funny. Yeah.